Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We begin this morning talking about ag policy programs and some of the things that are a little different this year. Here's our ag policy specialist, Jody Campici. The 2008 Farm Bill was extended, uh, as most of you know, and with that, the ACRE and DCP program were also extended into the 2013 crop year. The sign up for those two programs starts on February 19th. Okay, and are producers kind of touching base with you and asking you which program would be best for them? I've actually gotten a lot of questions recently about which program to enroll in. One key uh, important thing to note about it is that in the 2008 Farm Bill, producers who enrolled in the Acre program had to remain in Acre for the life of the Farm Bill. They couldn't go back and choose DCP the next year. With this 2013 sign up though, they're allowing producers to choose Acre or DCP regardless of what they were enrolled in previously. Now Jody, it seems like you're talking about this a little earlier than the year than you normally would. Yes, usually I, I recommend that producers wait until uh, mid-May or so so that we can at least know what the state wheat yield uh, for Oklahoma is going to be and have some more information on prices and yields that go into the acre calculations. However, this time I'm actually recommending that producers sign up uh, early in the uh, direct and counter sickle payment program. And one option is they can enroll in DCP and then in May, if we find out more information and it looks like Acre may be a better option, they can actually opt out of DCP and then enroll in Acre before the June 3rd Acre sign-up deadline. So that's just kind of part of the rules, I guess. They do have that option. People may be not aware that they have that option. Yes, that option is available at the Farm Service Agency office. And you know, part of the reason for this is that we do have 2013 direct payments that were in the Farm Bill extension. However, there's a lot of uncertainty going on in, in Congress and with the Farm Bill right now related to budget issues and the sequestration that's going to take place in March. So the more producers that are enrolled early in, in DCP, uh, it'll give Congress a better idea of, of just how much need is out there and you know how many producers are planning on getting direct payments. This must be kind of challenging from a, from a planning and production standpoint, all of this uncertainty. Yes, definitely. There's actually been a lot of farm loans that were, were able to be made this year due to the inclusion of the 2013 direct payments. However, they don't actually go out until October, so uh, there's still a bit of uncertainty there, but we're hoping, you know, that, that they were guaranteed in the extension that they'll actually take place and producers will be able to get a 2013 direct payments. Okay, so bottom line, get enrolled now and then kind of wait and see on the rest. Yes. Okay, Jody Campici, our Ag Policy Specialist. Thanks a lot. <laughs>